Sorry I missed Dad's funeral. Things here have been hard. No one expected you to come halfway across the system. Oh. What the hell was that? Yeah, the EDF. They own the road and everything else. Hey, this is Drew Holmes, writer for Red Faction Guerrilla, and I'm here to give you an inside look at the world of RFG. The game takes place 50 years after the events of Red Faction 1. The Earth Defense Force has assumed control of all operations on Mars. Massive waves of immigrants trying to escape Earth's faltering economy flee to Mars for a new and better life, only to find the EDF exploiting the planet for Earth's need. The colonists have been stripped of their rights, and they have no choice but to revolt. The EDF has divided Mars into six sectors. Four of these are populated by colonists. The mining towns of Parker and Dust, Oasis, where we see the first vegetation on Mars, and the gleaming capital of Eos. The EDF also controls the military buffer around Eos, known as the Free Fire Zone, as well as the marauder-infested Badlands. In order to win the game, you have to eliminate the EDF control in each of these sectors. To do this, you can choose to complete missions, guerrilla actions, or destroy high-value EDF targets. Every time you do this, the guerrilla morale goes up and the EDF control goes down. So, for example, if you take out the huge EDF base in the Badlands, that's going to dramatically drop the EDF's control and eventually they'll have no choice but to retreat. The bottom line is, the more EDF bases you destroy, the quicker they'll lose control of the planet. But it's not going to be easy. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll tell you more about control and morale and show you how you can go about liberating a sector.